All right, so I decided to do a video test. Um, some questions are being asked of how to test the Petronics. And so this is one that is um, made for my Triumph TR6. Have it on the shelf, I'm running points, but um, a recent post on one of the forums that I'm on, Six Pack was asking questions of how they know the unit was burned out and someone posted a procedure to use a voltmeter. I decided to run a test to see if I could use a test light and the test light would give an indication, you know, when the points are open, points are closed, or the switch is open, switch are closed. So what I'm going to use is my Protronics. Uh, what comes in the kits is actually the uh, module, the igniter unit, the magnet. Um, under this piece of plastic is actually um, a series of magnets around. I assume there's six of them for my six cylinder engine. I'm going to use some patch cables to patch up to the positive and the negative on my battery box. It has an on and off switch. And uh, my plan is to actually use my drill to rotate the magnetic ring around the module to switch the test light on and off. Um, that's my theory anyway. So I'm going to record a couple of videos and sync with them all together to make one complete story. All right, stand by. All right, so the first thing I want to do, I tried to figure out a way to rig up the magnetic ring to my drill. I guess you could maybe rotate it by hand, or I even thought about using one of those kitty toys they have nowadays, those fidget tools that has a bearing on it, maybe spin it around a bearing. Um, but I figured I'd use my drill. It's probably the easiest way. And so the first thing I did was um, maybe take a couple of washers, you know, mount it inside of the ring on the top, put a washer on the bottom. This is from my spare tools. Um, kit and then tighten the bolt on it try to center it up because the washer is not really well fitted around the, the bolt itself um, but my plan is to take this rig up and mount it onto my drill chuck and it allow me to spin the drill so the drill is I'm just screwing this nut down here the drill is a variable speed so I can go slow speeds or fast bleeds and then um, hopefully that will be the way that I can use to trigger the module off and on so as I tighten this up try to center it up obviously as best I can and then mount it into the drill chuck is what my game plan is so let's see if we're going to be able to do that tighten it down and let's see if we can get a rotation uh, there's a rotation alright so that's what we're going to use to rotate around the magnetic um, ring around the um, pickup and trigger it off and on so stand by while I continue to set this up Alright, so we're back. So now I'm going to hook up the module itself. I'm going to leave this off and I'll, I'll give an observation that I've noticed earlier about burning out modules and we can see probably why it applies to cars and leaving the ignition on. Um, so first it calls for the procedure from Pertronics that was posted on the forum calls for um, mounting a negative connection directly to the base of the module. So I'll use a jumper plug that I have in you know my handy dandy toolboxes around here and mount that to the base plate of the module so that negative connected and then it says connect the positive to the positive side of your battery so I'll use a, a little nail in here to make the connection just to make it a little bit easier with this lug I also have on my battery pack a couple of nails just to extend out the terminal so I have a better connection so positive terminal to the positive side of the battery the unit is still off and then I'm gonna um, insert the test light in between the negative of the module and the positive of the battery so again I'm gonna use a nail to make the connection on the negative I'm gonna use my negative jumper cable which I have lost actually I'm sorry I'll connect that to the test light and then the positive side of the connect test light here I'll connect to the battery alright so again negative of the base of the module to the negative of the battery positive of the module to positive of the battery negative of the module to one end of the test light and the other end of the test light to the positive side of the battery. My battery still switched off so I'm not getting any power. Next I'll run the test. 
All right, so here we go with everything connected up. I'm gonna run the test and let's see what we get. First, I'm gonna power on the battery. I'm gonna position the module over the edge of my bench to give me enough room to place my drill on um, variable speed over the edge and rotate the magnetic ring around the module to switch it off and on. And then the test light should indicate off and on switching. So let's do that. So the first thing you notice I'm going to bring your attention to is the test light lit up. As soon as I applied power, the test light lit up. So I'm going to turn that off and let that have you absorb that for a minute because we talk about leaving power applied and how it might burn out the module. So I'm going to turn it off. So that was my first observation. As soon as I applied power, as soon as your ignition's on, that's power applied to the module. It's passing current back and forth. So that's one of the reasons why I think this these things are burned out. I guess they're not made to to have power for a continuous duty cycle but when the magnetic ring switches it off and on then that should switch it off and on in order to extend the duty cycle so um, rather than leaving it on I'm going to turn it on now and then I'm going to apply the variable speed magnetic ring to switch it off and on so you can see how it works and also a verification to the test this is off the shelf I've never installed this and so um, we'll see how they actually work so applying power positioning the module and running my drill in reverse. Now a little thing is happening here is one is my drill is off centered and so it's back and forth between the space of the module but you can see the light switch going on and off, off and on. So let me see if I can pos position this variable module a little bit better position centered up on my drill bit so we can get a more consistent reading. So I'll turn that off and let me set myself up again. Alright, so I'm going to run this test again. I think I have a, bit, a little better alignment of the magnetic ring on the check of my drill so it spins a little more evenly. I'm going to apply power. Um, you see the test light light up and when I spin the drill, if it's in proximity within, I believe it's point, well I shouldn't quote you because I don't know exactly what it is. I believe it's point three two or point three five, but on my kit it doesn't have a plastic spacer but there is kind of a speck where you get the magnetic ring within a certain space of the module kind of like gapping the points in order to trigger it. Um, you can probably look online and see what that spacing is. Typically there's a magnetic ring but mine didn't come with one. So here we go I'm going to apply power. You see that light up again power to the ignition and then I'm going to position the module close enough to the magnetic ring apply power to my drill at a slow speed and you should see the module switching the test light off and on to indicate it's working. Here we go. Switch is on, modules position, rotating the drill. Wish I can get some consistency here. Alright, there we go, there we go. The module switching it off and on with the proximity of the drill turning the magnetic head. Let's speed it up a little bit. You see it flashing. So again, indicated that the module is working on um, what I can tell. So a little bit slower speed once again. All right, so a quick test. Again, with power applied, that module has power to it. You can see the light lit. And so I guess over a few minutes or so is all it takes to really burn out the module. So let me turn power off so I can keep this module on my shelf. Anyway, it's a quick demo. I hope it helps some of you guys. Um, the actual test procedure calls for hooking up a voltmeter. You would likely set the voltmeter to, to 20 and replacing the voltmeter in place of the test light. And that would give you an indication of 12 volts or 0 volts. I haven't tested it and I don't know if my meter can flash back and forth from 12 to 0 or whatever the power of the battery is, 12 to 0 fast enough to give you an indication. Um, but the test light is, is a pretty, um, I thought was a pretty ready example of whether or not um, the module is actually triggering. So, hope this helps. Maybe I'll put it on YouTube. I'll post it to the forum. And um, hopefully um, it'll help some, some folks in the future.